My name is Hakim Benamer. I'm an interventional cardiologist and I work at Massy, Aubervilliers and uh, at Suren, Hôpital Foch. Uh, I do more than uh, 500 uh, angioplasty a year and that's my favorite stent, which is the biggest in the world. So let's go now to the left coronary artery to do the PCI. I'm wiring the, the LAD. Okay. So I'm going to do a predilatation of the LAD with the 2.5 balloon to open well the LED, which is very important step for the BVS uh, uh, PCI. Let's take a look with the, with the balloon inside to make a measurement of the LED. We have to do more distal, 20 again, deflation. In my opinion, the BVS of 20, 28 will be enough. We will check with the stent uh, vessel Vs if uh, uh, the length of the, of the BVS uh, is enough. Let's check with the stent vessel Vs now if we are on the, on the stenosis of the LAD and we are covering the uh, totality of the, of the lesion. So uh, for this goal, it is uh, very interesting to have this tool, uh, Stan Vessel Vs. So it is very uh, uh, easy to, to do. And you can clearly see the BVS with the markers of the balloon and the uh, coronary artery with the stenosis. So it is easy to check and to, to be sure that we are covering all the stenosis. As you saw on the previous picture, it was not the case, so I have to put it more distal and then we will put inside a non-compliant balloon to be sure that the BVS is well deployed in the coronary artery. Let's do it. As you can see uh, on the screen, it is very easy now to see the position of the balloon and the, the repair of the BVS. So let's go for an inflation now. It is very difficult to see the repair of the BVS at the proximal part. So let's check with the stent Vs. As you can see here, we are too proximal with the balloon. So if I do uh, uh, an angioplasty of this area, uh, it will increase the risk of uh, restenosis because of a geographic miss. So let's do it again with the balloon more distal. Okay, let's check now. Okay, as you can see now, the balloon is at the good position to do the optimization of the BVS implantation. Now, we only have to check the, the result with an angio and the PCI will be finished. So in my opinion, the result is perfect for the LAD and uh, we haven't lost the uh, small branch, the diagonal branch on this area. Let's take uh, with another view, maybe a caudal view, remove the wire. Very good result. Cranial view without the wire inside. 
Okay, that's perfect. Thank you. What was very interesting in this case, it was the, 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 the fact that the lesion was a long lesion, maybe a little bit less than 28 millimeters, and the BVS was 28 millimeters. So we had to put the BVS very, with a very precise uh, positioning on the LED. That's why the stand vessel vis was used in this case. As you can see here, we can clearly see the repairs of the uh, BVS and the markers of the balloon. So for a precise positioning of the BVS, it was a very interesting tool. Clinical challenges for coronary PCI are, first of all, bifurcation cases. Second point is uh, osteal lesions. And the last one is BVS use. In my opinion, we will use more and more BVS stents. So uh, to see uh, the BVS stent, we will need uh, tools like uh, 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 stent Vs or stent vessel Vs. So you know with BVS, it's very difficult to see the markers. So with these kind of tools, we will uh, facilitate uh, the positioning of our stents. It's a very sim simple uh, tool and it, sim it simplifies a lot my practice for complex coronary angioplasties.